Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome back. It's Monday. It's Monday. Uh, today, I am going to give a quick tour of Jeff's truck camper for you truck camper fans out there. Um, hopefully, I'm going to be able to do this live stream. I am streaming from my hotspot, which is in the fifth wheel. So um, the truck camper is pretty close to the fifth wheel, but Hopefully the signal will be okay for you guys to uh, to be able to watch. So I'm going to flip the camera around and show you Jeff's truck camper. So here it is. It's a, I believe it's a 2002 S and S nine and a half C. It's sitting on a long bed F-250 4x4, a V8 gas engine. Um, Jeff also just replaced his rear springs with brand new load carrying capacity, heavy duty rear leaf springs. And he also has airbags. And I believe he also has uh, some Rancho 9000 shocks in the rear as well sitting on some toyo 10 ply toyo wild country open country open country tires les schwab he's got uh, frame mounted tie downs uh so yeah this is a nine and a half nine and a half in length he also has this custom rear cargo carrying rack on the rear of the camper that he custom built and it's on um, this really neat channel that it actually slides in and out sort of like a receiver hitch which is pretty cool kind of a shot from the rear Got uh, an awning, uh, a side on. Uh, I'll show you what the front of the front looks like. I believe these were built in Montana, I believe. I don't, SNS is in business anymore. Uh, that's a, a view of the front. It's got uh, CB, CB antennas. Power jacks. These look like Ryko, Ryko jacks. This is nice. He's got, uh, okay, that's a cable, uh, phone, and power outlets. Nice. Uh, the Northern Light that I had did, did not have outside outlets like that, which is a nice thing. Yeah, there's the man himself. Hey, Dalton. Good morning, sir. Good morning. How are you? I'm good. I slept really nice last night. Um, I had the heat turned up to 70, so I used a lot of propane, but I was comfortable. Nice. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, so you want to take a look at the truck camper? and uh, Yeah. You know, we'll give it the fast, uh, efficient tour here. We've got two propane tanks, five gallons each. This is an auto switch so that uh, you start with one and when it goes empty, we'll automatically switch over to the next tank so that uh, when you're someplace cold, nasty, raining and you run out of propane in one tank, you don't have to get out here and switch the tank. And so that works out pretty good. Um, some people wonder, how do you get power in a truck camper or in the RV? And we have 
power cord inside of here. Let me see if I can find the end of it. There. So it is a 120 volt, 30 amp plug on here, and you can get an adapter for that to uh, plug into the standard uh, household outlet. This is a, a piece of foam, and this is the little trick. I put it on this, and like that. Ah. And that keeps bugs from getting inside the truck camper. I have a lot of earwigs at home, and they climb up the cord and right into the camper. So when I put that, um, uh, and it's just a pipe insulation, and that uh, stops it. Here we have two AGM Group 31 batteries. And how many amp hours is that? They're 105 amp hours each. And uh, the batteries, I think they weigh, um, I think it was 71 pounds each. And you can kind of tell the amount of lead in a battery by the weight of the battery. And so if you're getting a heavy battery, chances are you have a good uh, amount of lead on your battery. So here's the water heater compartment. And uh, so it hooks up hot and cold. And when you winterize the system, you want to completely drain out your water heater. And then you have this hose here that interconnects from the cold to the hot. And the reason for this interconnect is um, some people like to fill their system with RV antifreeze, but you don't want antifreeze going into your water heater. You only want it going through the uh, hot and cold lines. And so this uh, valve up here opens between the two so that you pump antifreeze through the lines, but not the water heater. And so you have to make sure that you close these valves properly so that um, you don't get hot cold mixing in regular use of the water heater or the water. We had someone on Dalton's show last night um, was getting a um, uh, warm water. It was a hot cold mix out of his faucet and uh, so we don't know for sure that that was his problem but we uh, talked about that issue last night. Um, I've, uh, wherever I can, I've stuffed this one inch um, foam insulation to uh, try to improve the uh, insulation value on the truck camper. This here is just a uh, storage compartment. I put uh, water hose, um, uh, power cables, uh, extension cords, uh, a couple of tools and stuff in there. And uh, so it's just kind of a handy little compartment to have. Um, here's the water heater. Standard RV water heater. It's uh, 20 years old. Uh, it's a 2000 truck camper and the heater is still working. Um, I don't know how much longer it's gonna work, but uh, it wouldn't be too tough to repair. I've got, this is my, uh, slide out tray and I use that for my sewer hose um, what other people have done is they set up a uh, uh, before the deck was on here there was a bumper on the truck camper that had a compartment that you could slide the sewer hose in and then this would have been used for like fishing rods and skis and stuff like that and then over on this side here are water and gray water drain valves so you connect the hose up to that uh, uh, pipe and dump your tanks this here is just another storage compartment and uh, so I've got fishing stuff in here and then for this trip here because uh, it's so far between fuel I had a three gallon tank of gas and uh, I was telling Dalton yesterday when I was driving down here from Las Vegas I finally got to a gas station and I put 33.4 gallons in my 34 gallon tank so that's how close I came to being empty 
and that three gallon can would have come in pretty handy. In here, and we pushed the locks up, and there's a little uh, tab up in there for a hook, and we just pull the top on down and set it in place, and uh, it works out pretty good. Um, if the sun is shining on this side, it'll. Okay, we're back. Sorry, guys. Losing my signal here. Uh, try to try to stay. Might not be able to go that far, Jeff, but uh, we'll. Uh, well, we I think have, I can go. Uh, yeah, I should be able to go that far. Yeah, that's this good. This is the vent for the fridge, and I just replaced this because the old one was cracking and breaking out. This is the water filling location. And how many water? How many gallons does this hold? This tank will hold 35 gallons of fresh, and then I believe it. It is water and 20 gallons of uh, black water. And what year is this camper? Uh, truck camper is a 2000. 2000? Yeah. Okay. I 2000. said it was a 2002, so it, it is a 2000. Yeah. 2000. Oh, there and, it is. Uh, Calspell, Mount Montana. 9.5 feet long. Are you? Have you been pretty happy with it? Oh, very happy. Yeah, it. Uh, um, this thing, it's opened up a lot of good camping, traveling opportunities, and uh, we we like this thing. Um, uh, the last trip we took before the camper was to Maui, Hawaii, and um, we haven't gone anywhere since, other than using the truck camper, and uh, it's just been a lot of fun. Uh, I mean, it's really a neat little thing to have. Yeah, so on the inside we got uh, <clears throat> so this is life inside of the truck camper. Um, things fill up quickly and so on your bed. And so you can see there's a bunch of stuff up here, chairs, computers and what have you. And then at night you take it off the bed and you put it back down here. And so your life is in a constant shuffle. Did we lose again? Oh, no. No, we're good. I'm just... Uh... So it's a, a constant shuffling of uh, stuff to make room for uh, daytime and nighttime. And then we've got uh, some storage up in here. Uh, right now I'm using this for clothes and uh, more clothes. Back here is the fishing department. Um... So I have my uh, outside table here. I forgot to buy or bring my folding chairs. So I went to Costco. So this is uh, like a six cubic foot refrigerator? I think so. I'm not 100% sure. But we've got... Uh, um, Acting, so... Um, yeah, it doesn't like the same. Uh, okay. I think, well, we're, we're, we're back. We just reconnected again. So okay. sorry guys. I try to do a live stream here with, uh, I don't have my hotspot exactly right on me. So uh, thanks for standing by. So here's the kitchen and, uh, we've got a little two basin sink, a stove through the oven, it works for chicken, uh, lasagna, pretty much anything you would cook at home. And then uh, cupboards overhead here, uh, all the, uh, we have uh, pots and pans here, dishes and cups here, and then uh, flour, coffee, and other stuff in here. Got a slide out pantry here that has all the spice and uh, other oh, nice. things. Power in it or? Oh, absolutely. I... Okay. Yeah, I don't know, can you... uh, yeah, see if I can kind of just pivot. Pivot it around. Oh yeah, yeah. So, so it's a wet bath. Yeah. It's a tight fit. It's a fan, but it works well. Mm -hmm. And just a regular, regular toilet, no other no. thing. Okay. No. All right. I did put in. Uh, I've got JBL speakers. I got two here, two up in the front, and uh, so we get some pretty good tunes out of this. And we have an auxiliary input that we can plug the laptop into here 
sit at the table and we can watch movies with big sound and uh um what is this a queen size bed it's a queen it's a queen size 60 bed. 60 by 80. yeah yeah uh so the freshwater tank is under the step and that and looks like a pass-through window into the cab yeah that's, that's nice that's for charlie that's for charlie that's so if you have charlie. pets this would be a great camp um this is under the sink and so this is where all the cleaners and stuff and then uh, uh gym and run in there uh, and then we've got to, every kitchen has to have a junk drawer so here's a, the junk drawer there and then i have uh all the electrical battery connections are in this little pocket here. Um, kind of hard to see anything in that. What do you have for solar on the roof? I have, it's an old uh, thin film solar panel that uh, has a maximum of 80 watts. Um, the most I've ever seen it charges amps. Okay. Um, so I know you, I've heard you mention you're, you're, uh, you're going to be retiring soon and will you be a uh, camper or I've heard you talk about a van. Would you like to share any of that at all? Yeah, what we're doing is, um, uh, getting a transit van, doing a Quigley four wheel drive conversion on it and then building out the interior of the van to our own uh, idea of how it should be. And uh, one of the things that I want to... Okay, we're back. Oh, I'll try and make that happen for Kelly. Um, but yeah, the uh, van, what we like about the van is that uh, we want to do a couple of years of intense traveling all across the country, Alaska. And um, uh, the van, uh, when you're in a truck camper, you pull in for the night, you have to get out come around, get in, and if you're in a van, you just stop and turn the seat around and do your thing. And uh, so the stealth factor of a van is much better than a truck camper is. And uh, uh, the van, it'll be tight living, but I think it'll work out really well for us. Uh, uh, the van is going to be easier to get in and out out of cities and uh, being able to find places to boondock that in. So that's kind of the uh, idea for now. Uh, maybe after a couple of years of the van, then we'll upgrade to uh, like a Class C or a Class A and uh, uh, do a little bit more of a relaxed uh, traveling style. Okay, that's that's cool. So that's coming from. I mean, you've had this. You've had truck camper for a long time, and so you're you're saying that a van is definitely going to be in your in your future. So uh, those of you that are thinking about, you know, there's somebody that's had a truck camper, but he's eventually going to be uh, going in, going back to a van, going to a van. So that's uh, that's good. Yeah, it's good to know. Good insight. Uh, where can they find you on YouTube? Our channel is uh, CTAP1, C-I-T-A-P-1, and uh, I'm going to have to come up with a better name. Maybe I'll have a contest. <laughs> what does the CTAP stand for? <laughs> it, uh, it goes back from years ago when I used to uh, uh, be involved with rock bands. It was a production company called Caught in the Act Productions, and the one is because when I opened the account back in uh, 2008 or 9 on YouTube, they wanted the number in your name and so uh, that's why i have ctap1 instead of just ctap and uh i think you started your channel back about then too didn't you mm -hmm. to 2014 yeah. yeah but you they didn't have you put a one or a number in your name oh yes yeah i wonder why that is um I think I changed my name. That's what that's what happened. Oh. I changed my channel name. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, actually, I did. It used to be. Yeah, I changed my channel name. Okay. Now, are you going to the RTR? I'm going to go up there and uh, check things out. And um, uh, there, there's a few people that I want to say hi to that uh, I met last year. Um, and then uh, 
uh, if it's not too much of a zoo, I'll spend a night or two up there. And uh, uh, the plan today is to go to Discount Solar and see what kind of stuff they have over there. If they've got a good deal, I'm looking at buying a couple of panels and a controller. And uh, then I'll spend a day to uh, install those on the roof and uh, improve my solar situation because the solar I have is just not enough. It doesn't charge my batteries. Okay. Uh, well, where, where can they find you when you go up to the RTR? Is you have a, an area that you think you're going to be camping in uh, where, where people can find you and, and talk to you? Uh, you know, I won't know until I get there. Okay. Um, yeah, it just depends on how packed in it is and how uh, crowded it is. Uh, I liked um, Traveling Robert. He uh, found himself a spot far away from everyone else. And uh, so I'm not going to be far away from everybody else, but uh, I'm not going to be in the heart of things. Uh, but there's, uh, I want to get to the mining seminar, and I also want to see there's a second uh, solar seminar going on. And um, unfortunately, I don't think Bob uh, Wells, he didn't put up any easily found lists of events. Uh, last year, they had a printed event that you could go to on the Internet, and this year it's on. So I'm hoping that up there they'll have a printed sheet that I can look at and then pick and choose the events that are going on and uh, 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 get those out of the way and then I'll decide what I'm going to do after that. I still have to go to Phoenix and then I have to go back up to Las Vegas. So I've got a pretty tight schedule going on right now. Uh huh. And that we still have to barbecue steaks. We still got a barbecue steaks. That's yeah, right. That's yeah. right. I'm gonna hold you to it on that one. Yeah. 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 And is there anything, anything else you'd like to like to share about your about your camper or anything? Any wisdom you want to share with the world? Uh, you know, uh, don't let life go by. Uh, get out there, enjoy things, and uh, uh, you know, if you've got time. To... Uh, thanks, Jeff, for for uh, sharing your your rig with uh, with us here today. And I know I've uh, I've enjoyed it, and you're a great guy, and I always. I uh, appreciate when you come out and you visit and uh, getting together with you. So I've known you for a few years. You're a great guy. So appreciate your friendship. Mm -hmm. Oh, you bet, Don. Good to see you, too. All right, guys. So that was Jeff's truck camper. Jeff's Jeff's truck camper. A little bit of uh, insight with, with Jeff. And I'm going to... Yeah, that's all for this live stream. I think we had, hey, Ed, what's going on? Good to see you, Ed. How's, uh, how's everything going out there at the uh, Grand Designs meetup? I'm going to walk back to my hot spot. Get in a little bit closer range. So, all right, guys, I'm going to end this live stream. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Have a great day, and we'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching. See ya. Peace.